In this video, we're gonna talk about how I paid off my debt in one year. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification to get future updates on how to put more money back in your pocket. You might be asking yourself, how do I get out of debt? You could be in one of those situations. If you're like a lot of millennials, you probably have a mountain of credit card debt and student loans, and it's just a nightmare. You wanna buy a house, you wanna start a family maybe, or you wanna go on vacation, and you just, you're not getting anywhere. Uh, let me tell you that you can get through this, but you have to have a plan and you have to put effort into it. There's no get out of jail free card here. You have to put in some effort, but with a plan and focus and effort, you can do this really quickly, faster than you could have ever imagined, all right? So I've written down some of the steps I took that I've used from some other people's philosophies and applied it to my own life. All right, so got my little journal here. If you're gonna learn something new, Make sure you keep a journal. I got this thing back many years ago and this is all about pretty much finance and you know business things that I've learned. Um, so write this stuff down. All right, so how I got out of debt. First thing you need to know is where are you? I would start with how much money you're making. Figure out what your income is monthly. You wanna look at the top line, which is what you're grossing and then the bottom line, what you're netting, and make sure your taxes are right. If that's too much for you, then just put that aside for now, and then just look at the take home you're taking every week from your paycheck, figure out what's coming in. The next, you gotta figure this out, and you gotta be honest about it, figure out what you're spending. You need to know what all your expenses are going out every month. Your rent, or your mortgage, uh, car payments, if you have car payment, entertainment, are you going out to eat? your groceries, kids, games, baseball practice, ballet, any of that stuff, write it all down. Maybe you're a gamer and you, you buy games frequently. Now, figure out everything that you own. Every asset, anything that can be turned into money. If it's like an extra cell phone, a camera, uh, computer parts, your car, uh, your house, everything that you own, that's tangible, okay? Figure out what the dollar amount is, estimate. I call it, I like to say guesstimate. Guess what you would uh, you would sell it for if you're gonna sell it. I'm not saying you have to, but figure out where you are and everything that you own. The next step from there is figure out everything that you owe. Any debt that you have or bill that you have to pay, like that's backdated, like a medical bill, you need to write all that stuff down. I like to start with the smallest to largest first, because uh, of the behavioral effects of paying it off. Now, if you're a real nerd junkie, you wanna pay off the highest interest first. You can go that way, but really, what got you into this mess is not understanding how you behave and how money works, all right? So I would work on the behavioral side. What you're gonna start doing is once you figure out all of these things, you need a plan of attack. First thing you need to do is obviously write out all those debts, smallest to largest. If you owe your brother 50 bucks, that goes first, okay? If you have a repair bill at the auto shop that's 100 bucks that you still haven't paid off, write that next and keep going all the way up to, you know, um, your student loan debts or maybe your car, student loan debts, maybe, uh, your house. If you have that, we can save that for later if you're trying to pay off your mortgage, but write all that down. You're gonna pay off the smallest one first and make minimum payments on everything else, all right? So if it's 50 bucks and you have 50 bucks in the bank, pay that off. If you're single and you have a safe job, maybe you wanna bring your savings down. If you have savings and debt, bring that down to maybe $1,000 or maybe one month or two months expenses, whatever's comfortable with you. But if you're sitting on you know, $15,000 in the bank, all right, just cash, not retirement accounts, but just cash, and you have $15,000 in debt, you're essentially at zero, okay? You gotta be honest with yourself about that. Can you take some of that money and pay off this debt and then make that debt smaller so you can work it off? Maybe if you get it down to $5,000, an extra job on the side over the summer, you can knock that out and by Christmas time, you can pay cash for all your gifts. So. You're starting all that, maybe you don't have $50 to pay all this stuff. Maybe you looked at your income and your expenses and there's just nothing there. So the quickest way you can come up with some money is to sell some stuff, all right? You've listed everything you have. Now, if you don't wanna go getting rid of 
your house when you shouldn't, you know, that's, I wouldn't recommend just selling your house just so you have some money. But if you have any other kind of assets that you don't use, anything that's sitting around, maybe there's like a, a weight set, like a Bowflex weight set that you don't use because you have a gym membership, sell those, turn that into money. That's a hundred bucks that pays off the 50 bucks that you owe your brother, all right? And then it goes to the next thing. If you have an extra old cell phone or something, trade it in, get some cash for it. Think of anything that you have. Maybe you have furniture or something that you can sell at a thrift store, or some old clothes you could sell on like, uh, what is it, Poshmark or something, or let go. You wanna turn this stuff into cash as quickly as you can, all right, just to get the ball rolling. The next thing, you gotta get either a job or a part-time business or something. Uh, you could Uber, Postmates, or something along those lines. If you don't have wheels, that's fine. If you have a talent, you could sell your talent. What I did when I got out of debt, and how I paid it off so quickly is I, I took on some students, um, some guitar students. I was an instructor for uh, quite some time, and when I was instructing, I could charge, I charge about $25 uh, for a half hour lesson. You can see with that math, you can quickly get yourself out of debt on the side, only working another five or 10 hours a week on top of your regular job, if that's your situation. If you don't have that, sell some stuff, maybe get a second part-time job somewhere, something in sales where you can get more than just an hourly wage. From there, I would try to downsize. Look at what you've been spending. Maybe you shouldn't go out and buy another video game. Maybe you should wait until you find it on sale. Maybe just wear those ragged jeans a little bit longer at not shop at Whole Foods and get the organic stuff at your local grocery store where everything's a little bit less. Maybe cancel some of your subscriptions. If you use like Hulu Live, maybe just go down to Hulu. That's like $45 down to $5, you know? Anything you do to decrease what you have to spend money on while you're getting yourself out of debt. Now remember, this is all just until you get out of debt, okay? That's the purpose of this. Last but not least, man, as you're going through this, jump on YouTube and listen to other people that have gone through this. Watch videos like this. Listen to some professionals. There's like uh, Robert Kiyosaki. He has a different opinion on, on debt, um, but he agrees with bad debt, like um, doodads, like your TV and stuff and a car, anything that's not making you money potentially. Or uh, listen to Dave Ramsey. He does this um, same type of format of paying off debt, he calls it the, the debt snowball. Look for anyone who's who's done this and just put your head to the grindstone. You know, you might have to ignore your friends for a little while and not go out on Friday nights if you can or if you do only get a soda or one drink and, and just get focused. You can do this. I'm telling you, it's possible. I've done it myself and um, just do your best to do this. If you like today's content, Subscribe, hit the bell notification, leave a comment, tell me how much debt you have and how long it's gonna take you to pay it off. Figure out how many months it's gonna take for you to get out of debt. And I wanna know, then come back to the video and tell me when you paid it off, all right? Thanks guys.